welcome to the video, you guys. Today we are at Ray-Ban HQ, which, as you can tell, makes knee sleeves. And it's actually the knee sleeve that I use. It's pretty cool, uh, pretty cool being here. You know, just rich froning here, chilling on the wall. This is definitely somewhere I never thought I would be. I've been wanting to ask you, yes. is this you on the mug? Unfortunately, yes. Yeah. I think I think you look much much more handsome now. Oh, thank you. <laughs> Lunch is served. So we we all got the same thing, huh? We all got chicken Caesar salads and sweet potato fries. Look how orange these sweet potato fries are. Wow. I have one again. I'm not even close. You're not. You need to step your game up. <laughs> I don't think I'm on the start line. <laughs> <laughs> I got close, but it's still a poor attempt at the end of the day, wasn't it? <laughs> this is kind of strange because I am currently in the bathroom right now, but I didn't realize that Ray-Ban made compression stuff. So they actually let me, gave me one of their compression shirts and compression tights. So I'm really excited to like try these on because this is like a, a much more like intense, like not intense form of compression, but it's it's different than what I've been using. So I, I'm excited to, to try this on. I think we're gonna train afterwards and just kind of see how it feels and like kind of feel the difference between you know this and, and what I've been using. So I'm gonna try it on now. Pleasure. Yes, really nice hey, to meet you. Great to meet you, mate. Yeah. Good luck with your I'll journey. See you next week. Yes, sir. Doing great work, mate. Thank you, thank you, thank you. We're all done at Rayban now, and that was that was a really really cool experience. I, I don't even. It was definitely not what I was expecting. They actually gave me some stuff. I'm actually wearing the shorts right now, and I actually have one of their shirts on. And we're actually about to go train right now, so I actually can go and see how it works and see if I like it. So I'm really excited to try it for myself, but then kind of let you guys know for those of you guys guys that do train with compression gear as well, you know what I think about it, and, and tell you guys, you know if if it's it's worth getting. Again, this is this isn't sponsored by Ray-Ban or anything like that, but obviously I have this stuff on, so might as well show you guys. So let's go train. What up? What up? Yes, sir. We are here at Beefitter Gym. This is the owner right here, Zach, hey. and uh, he just brought us a really terrible workout. Yeah, it's gonna be good. Yeah. 30 minute I, running clock. I love fitness work, so, so it's we'll gonna see be how good. It goes. Thank you yeah, for yeah. riding it for us. I'll speed to the Look end. Look how freaking big this guy is. It makes me look like a midget. All right, let's do this. <laughs> Jasmine is joining me with this workout, so I, I, I really appreciate it. It would be terrible to do by yourself, so yes. thank you very much. Let's do it. It's a team. Yes. What's up, you guys? John here, back with another commentary. And before we get into this, I just want to say that this was an absolutely awesome workout. So, like you guys saw before, I will make sure that I, you know, write the workout down in the description so you guys can try it out if you want to. It was definitely, definitely a lot harder than I thought it was going to be, which is always nice. So, definitely check that workout out if you want to have a really, really good one. The main reason that I wanted to do this commentary was I did want to talk a little bit more about compression wear, why I wear it, why others might want to wear it, and you know, just give you my thoughts on the race band compression gear that I was given on this day. Now for me, as a lot of you guys know, I wear compression gear mainly, pretty much only because I like to keep my loose skin in place, which a lot of you guys know, obviously I have loose skin from losing 180 pounds. So I wear the compression gear, especially when I'm doing workouts like this where there's burpees and, and wall balls and a lot of movement. I like to wear compression gear because it just keeps everything in place and it makes me just feel a lot more stable. I'm not worried about things moving around that I might not want to move around. So that is obviously the main Main reason why I wear compression wear when I am working out. Now the other reason why someone might wear compression gear is actually to help aid recovery because it will help trap blood basically in the area because it's so tight so it will help blood flow into the area and we all know that you know when you have increased blood flow to an area that's basically going to help with muscle recovery so if you're dealing with a lot of soreness so that isn't also an added benefit of compression wear but again like I said the main reason I wear it is just for honestly just for comfort. When I'm working out, I don't have to worry about it and I can feel really comfortable wearing it. Now, let's get into the compression wear that I was given on this day from Ray-Ban. Now, this compression gear is so different than the stuff that I have worn before. Like it is so much more, I guess you could call it like more intense. It is definitely a higher level of compression gear than like the Under Armour stuff that you guys have seen me wear. But I got to say, especially with the shorts, 
it was so nice. Like those things, I, I, I don't see myself really wanting to train without those in the future because it, they were just so nice. They held everything in place really, really well. And even the t-shirt, like I was really worried because I always wear the tank tops because, you know, I can wear a regular t-shirt over it and it's not noticeable at all. But I was talking to everyone and I even did the workout, half of it with without a shirt on, with just a compression shirt. And everyone was like, it didn't really look that weird. Like everything, like you looked fine. Um, so I gotta say for me, I was very, very, very happy with the compression wear that I was given. I'm just really, really stoked. Again, this is not, all a paid advertisement by Ray-Ban. Again, I just want to say it was an awesome workout and this compression gear absolutely was super awesome workout and I'm, I'm very, very thankful for it. Again, I will make sure that I link, you know, their, their website so you guys can check it out if you are interested at all. But again, thank you guys so much for watching and I'll check in with you guys in a second. <laughs> He pushed me through that one for sure. Oh, no way. Woo. I am so sweaty. Yeah. Like disgusting. I think we both are. A little bit. Just, Just a little bit. <laughs> Thank you so much, man. No, it's my we'll pleasure be having back you. Soon, yes. <laughs> So this is the next day and I just kind of wanted to give a little bit more points about Ray-Ban and the compression gear that I was wearing. The first thing I want to say is that for me, I feel like compression gear, the main reason I wear it is just for, you know, my loose skin and controlling it. I'm not someone that believes that compression gear is going to make you a better athlete or make you jump higher or faster. I definitely believe that compression gear helps me in a very specific way. And, you know, it might be able to help you if you are dealing with loose skin or if you're dealing with just a little bit of extra fat that, that moves around when you're working out. So I just want to make that clear because I know other some other people might think like compression gear is going to make them a better athlete and I personally don't believe that and I don't want you guys to think that I'm trying to say that in this video. Again, I want to say thank you to Ray-Ban for having us over. Like that was a super awesome experience and yeah, just a, a really, really fun day. With the compression gear that I was wearing, I would recommend going up a size if you, you know, decide that you want to go get it. So normally I wear a large shirt. So in that, that compression shirt, I was actually wearing an extra large. So that's just something that I would kind of keep in the back of your mind if you are planning on getting it because it is very, very tight. So I would, you know, recommend going up a half a size. And the last thing that I want to say, this is something that I thought I already announced, but I guess I haven't. There is going to be a meetup to meet me and hey. this guy right here, along with Matt Does Fitness yep. and the Lean Machines. Jasmine, and then maybe a couple of other surprises yeah. that I'm talking to. Yeah. It's going to be just, you come to CrossFit Faber, which is my box, mm -hmm. and one's box away from his from box. home. Yeah. And we'll just lift squat mm -hmm. chill and have a day of awesomeness yeah absolutely free yeah just come and hang out with us yeah i'll link everything down in the description if you do want to come uh so yeah it's just gonna be a lot of fun we're gonna be hanging out only rsvp that you're coming if you actually are coming yeah if you think you may be able to come click maybe and if you can't then then you can't <laughs> that's okay <laughs> but yeah for everyone that's been asking if i'm going to be doing a meetup in the uk that's going to be the designated meetup. So, again, all the links will be in the description. Thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. There was one other thing that Craig wanted to say. What was it? We don't quit. No, no, no. <laughs> Look how buff I am <clears throat> with a broken arm. <laughs> Obey the warning signs, and when there are flashing lights or wigwags, don't attempt to cross until they come to a complete stop. <laughs>